Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be going over the procedure for compiling FFmpeg on a Mac with an Apple Silicon processor. So I'm using a Mac Mini with the M1 processor. This also applies to other Macs that have the Apple Silicon processor. So this does have a prerequisite of installing Mac ports, and I'll put a link in the description to my Mac ports install video. Now, if you don't want to go through all the trouble of compiling FFmpeg, I'll also put a link below to my video on installing FFmpeg on this computer. And that installs the Intel version, but the Intel version has pretty decent performance under Rosetta 2. Compiling will give you slightly better performance though. So I'm going to be typing some commands in. I'll have a link below to my website where I'll have these commands so you can copy and paste them over. So you may notice this yellow hard drive on my desktop. So I'm actually booted from an external system plugged into this Mac mini. So I have a clean system to work from. This main hard drive has all my normal files on it and I wanted to start from a clean system because that's how other people doing this would start. So I'll open up a terminal, make this a little bigger. The first thing you want to do is update Mac ports. So I'll run this sudo port self update. And this will just make sure your Mac ports is up to date. It'll ask for your password. And next I'll run sudo port upgrade outdated. So this is a new system of Mac ports I'm using, so it doesn't have any software on it. But if you have one that does have software installed, this will make sure it's up to date. Okay, so I'll paste in the next command. This says nothing to upgrade, clear my screen. So next I'll be installing all of these libraries. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all, you can read them here, but there are a lot of dependencies too, so we'll install these and a bunch of other things. So I'll paste that here, I'll hit enter. Okay, that finished. I guess I forgot to mention why someone would want to compile FFmpeg. Mac ports can install FFmpeg, but there's a bug in installing it on one of these Macs with the Apple Silicon processors. So this video may be irrelevant a year from now, but until then, this is a way you can have a native version of FFmpeg running on your computer. So I'll clear the screen here. Next, I need to download FFmpeg source code. And these things I'm doing now, you could do in parallel with Mac ports installing its packages. It's just easier when I'm recording a video to do one thing at a time. So I went to ffmpeg.org, I'll hit download, I'll click download source code. And I guess I already have it downloaded here, maybe, I don't know, I may have deleted it. Yeah, I did delete it. So I'll let that download again. Okay, I'll close out of this. Go back to my terminal. I'll go to my downloads folder. So I'll type cd space tilde forward slash downloads. I'll hit enter. I'll hit ls. We need to uncompress this. So I'll type tar space jxvf space. And then I'll type the name. I can use tab completion here. I'll type ff tab and that'll complete that. It'll unzip this file. There we go. So now I'll go into the ffmpeg folder. I'll type cd space ffmpeg. So there are a couple steps to compiling this. The first thing I have in my instructions is to run make clean. And you don't need to do that right after you unzip it, but I'll run it anyway, it doesn't really do much. But if you're compiling and having trouble and playing with this, by typing make clean, you can start from scratch. So if you're having any trouble and you're tweaking things, that's a command to keep in mind. You can run that in between doing the compile and that will clean everything out for you. Next, I want to run this big configure command. So I'll get this running and then I'll explain it a little bit. Paste that in here. I'll hit enter. So I got this compile command from the Mac ports build of FFmpeg. So I went on one of my Intel computers and ran FFmpeg and I copied this from it. And then what I did is I removed a couple things and I have those in the notes here. I removed libvpx, x86asm, x86 underscore 64, and dash dash enable dash shared. And then I added a few things. So I added this line, the extra LD flags, and then the enable static. And that's finished here. Clear my screen. So next I want to compile this. And to do that, you type make. Since this has eight cores in the processor, I can type space dash J space 12. And this will speed up the compile by using the multiprocessor capabilities. Okay, that finished. So you can see we have FFmpeg, FFplay, and FFprobe here. If I type LS, you can see them here. So you can run them from this directory. You can type period slash FFmpeg and run it. First time you run it, it will take a second to get going. I'm not sure why that is. See, if I run it again, it will come up a lot faster. And you can see where I had this configure command. When you run FFmpeg, it tells you the configuration here. So I copied this from the Intel version as the basis to start here. So to install this on your computer, you would want to type sudo space make space install. Enter your password, and that will install it on your computer. So now I can just type ffmpeg, 
and it will run it from anywhere. So I can open up a new terminal. I can type FFmpeg, and it will run. So I'll close out of this. So I have a sample video here. It's a train. You can't hear the audio because I have a microphone plugged in. I'll do a quick test encode here. So I'll run this command. This is with software encoding, and I'm going to use the bash shell. I like the way it shows the time better. So I'll paste this command in here and I'll run this. Now while this is running, I'll go to the activity monitor and I'll just search for FF under the CPU. And we see here's FFmpeg. And you can see the architecture says Apple. So we know this is running natively on the Apple Silicon processor. And you can see the speed here, this is doing software encoding is about 1.88x. Okay, so that finished up. That took about 55 seconds. Now I have the same command with hardware encoding. I'll paste that in here. And here we have about 2.8x, 2.9x. So it's a little bit faster running the hardware encoding than the software encoding. And that took about 30 seconds. So that was about twice as fast. Of course, you can also use FF Probe, and this will tell you the streams, like your codecs and things. And I can also run FF Play to play the video. Hit F, I'll play it full screen. There we go. So this is a process you can use to compile FFmpeg for a Mac with an Apple Silicon processor. Another link I'll put below in the description is one to a page on my website where I have FFmpeg notes and I have some almost like recipes to do different things in FFmpeg, like, like turning a series of time-lapse images into a video. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.